start with the name of Allah, who is the most merciful and the most grateful. Dear students uh, of class second year, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Has your teacher, Sir Faz Nadeem. Dear students, I welcome you all uh, in Pakistan International School Taif's virtual learning system and congratulations to uh, successfully reached here in class second year. It's all credit goes to you and your hard work. So welcome you all dear students of class second year. Today we have uh, dear students the first lecture of uh, English about the class second year. Dear students, in class second year, we have English compulsory. And today we will uh, learn that the, what book is over here, the introduction of the book, and paper pattern, distribution of the numbers and questions. So today we will all discuss over here. Dear students, uh, we have a book uh, of uh, English. This is intermediate English for second year, and it's uh, at Khabar Pakhtunkha Textbook Board and it's published by the Khabar Pakhtunkha Textbook Board. So uh, uh, let's start to lecture and discuss over about the paper pattern and numbers of HSSC2 English Compulsory. Dear students, uh, same as in class first year, there were 100 number paper, same it is 100 number paper over here in class second year as well. Total numbers are 100. And dear students, this paper is divided, English paper, English compulsory, paper is divided into three sections. How many sections? Three, section A, here it is, section B and section C, very good. So it means that same as it was in first year, same it is here as well. So three sections are here, A, B and C. Now, as you are well aware that the first section Part one is section A and it is objective part or you can call it as a MCQs. So this objective part contains 20 numbers. How many? 20 numbers will be given over here and time is 25 minutes. It means that in 25 minutes you have to uh, complete your this portion, this part of objective part. And 20 numbers uh, is mixture, means grammar will be there, uh, lessons, poems, plays, means total mixture, whole uh, books, MCQs will be given to you over here in this part, in this portion. And you have to complete this four uh, choice will be given to you, four MCQs will be given to you and you have to choose one, correct one. And 25 minutes are over here. Dear students, this is part two, this is subjective as you, and there are 80 numbers. Part two, subjective, there are 80 numbers, and two hours and 35 minutes are uh, there for to complete this paper, to attempt this paper. It means that total three, three clocks, three hours, two hours and 35 minutes for subjective and 20 minutes for objective. Now, the part two, subjective part is divided into two sections. Section B, and section C, both sections contain 40, 40 marks. 40, 40 means 80, 80 of the subjective and 20 of objective, which means total 100 numbers are here, given over the year. students have this. Here now, dear students, uh, more we will uh, uh, guidelines of uh, federal board about and uh, marking distribution of the questions in English. Have a look over there, dear students. Dear students, here it is given total. You can see over here. This is, uh, if you can see, uh, policy guidelines for English paper. This is uh, HSSC and part two. The question paper is organized into following three sections, like section A, B, and C. Questions posed may be text based or uh, unseen, but in similar pretext and difficulty level as per the lessons taught in the course. And it's a distribution. It means that 30% uh, is knowledge, 50% understanding, and uh, we can say 20% uh, is application. Division of marks for section A is there, textbook lessons, 
poems, figure of speech, tales, yani play, and grammar. We have ten items like test items. How many like phrases, clause phrases means total phrases, noun phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, gerund phrase, prepositional phrase, clauses same like noun clause, adjective, infinitives, participles, gerunds, type of sentences, kinds of sentences, complement. Kinds of objects and any other area except passive speech. So, dear students, here we have a section A, B, C. As I told you that in section A, questions number one with twenty compulsory structure part questions, twenty uh, multiple uh, multiple choice questions, MCQs will be given to you here twenty, and shall be designed in such a way that they should be able to check comprehension of lessons, vocabulary, and grammar with rough. Uh, proportion of 30%, 20%, 50% of questions respectively. Following topics shall be covered in grammar like articles, type of complements, object mood, types of phrases and clauses, conditional types of sentences, manner and structure, germs, participles and infinitives, narration. It is all about the objective portion uh, which is called section A or MC. Then we will move to section B, dear students. In section B, we have two questions. Question number two and question number three. Question number two, uh, total numbers are 28. In question number three, we have 12. It means there are 40 numbers of this section. Here, this, this question shall consist of two parts, A and B. Part A shall consist of six questions from pros and the candidates are required to attempt five of these questions for four marks each means total five questions you have to attempt from this section and each questions contains four marks and as total we have 20 numbers over there total the, means seven we have to attempt and we have total 28 marks each four and dear students question three this question sh shall consist of three parts questions from play and the candidates are required to attempt two questions. Now here, there, this is about from the play and, uh, and we uh, there are three questions will be given to you and each question contains six numbers and you have uh, two out of three. So total 12 numbers are over here. We will move to uh, section C students. In section C, we have four questions. Question four, Candidates are required to compose and write report on an unseen topic with the help of given points. Now here, dear students, what is in this question? Here, a report will be given to you. Means there will be a question that write a report. For example, you are a reporter of a newspaper. For example, you are a, uh, for example, a citizen of your city, a citizen, and you are supposed to write a report to, or you are working in any department in organization and you are writing your report, your uh, higher authorities about any topic. Topic will be given you, but points will be given you and you have, your report will cover these points. Eight marks are over here. Question five, this question should consist of two parts. Here in question five, we have two parts, part A and B. In part A, we have what required to write an unseen passage after removing the six grammatical errors. Here, dear students, a passage will be given to you and you will be told that there are six errors, errors of an adjective, an adverb, preposition, noun, one like this. Six errors will be given to you and you have to find out these errors and you have to write, rewrite that passage in correct way or the uh, errors which you are going to find out, you are supposed to underline them and make them correct So six numbers of that and four in section uh, question 5b we have the candidates are required to use any four of the six idioms in the sentence so four numbers of idioms so total 10 marks are over here about question 5 question 6 is this question shall consist of a, a seen or unseen passage candidates are required to answer these questions three questions will be given to you like uh, read the passage and answer the question at the end so three questions will be uh, given to you to write the answers of these three. So total 10 numbers are there. The one question will contain six numbers. That will be the precise writing. Uh, you are supposed to precise the passage, read the passage and make it short, precise and give a title. Here we have 10 numbers. And last question, essay of about 250 to 300 words. 
this is a huge question 12 numbers are there so you have to write an essay and this is dear students in uh, section c almost we have maximum we have the creativity questions like essays creativity report is creativity all about that how much a candidate or student uh, learned over here in this class then we have dear students uh, i'll take you to the paper model paper of federal board hssc2 english compulsory model question paper this is section a same uh, time under 25 minutes and marks are 20 so we have 20 mcqs over here dear students yes how many 20 for example of which lesson did the muslims learn from the battle of Uhud? a not to disobey the prophet sallallahu b not to be demoralized and be united and d keep their weapons ready like uh, this type of the questions will be at uh, the poem i dream of world is about about what so this like this and grammar is also given you can see over here that uh, grammar is also giving for example the old may was tired of walking the word walking is underlined and asking the the words uh, the underlined word is what a present participle p journey and c past participle and d infinitive like this dear student very easy r50 you can see which one of the following sentences uh, is correctly structured he promised that he can come like this means 20 mcqs are given and you have completed within 25 minutes and then we have uh, objective a subjective portion section b 40 numbers as i told you in section b we have uh, questions question number two and three question two is divided in two parts a part is about prose and b is poetry here we have the questions given over here uh, total dear students five how many five questions we have to attempt 20 numbers are there four is each and here in uh, poetry we have three questions given and we have to solve two questions and each contain four numbers so like what is the central idea of the poem i dream of world like this so total 28 in the question two and question three is about place answer any two of the following parts of the question 60 to 70 words in context of the tales from shakespeare so this is about the play so 12 numbers three will be given three are given and there is the one choice also so you have to attempt two and each contains six numbers total 12 are here dear students section c as i told you that the maximum part is about the creativity so here you can see report question for suppose you are working as a price control officer in view of the growing rates of the daily consumer items the authorities ask you to investigate and write a report on it your report should cover the following points now points are given surprise visit to the markets cause of the price hike and suggestions as to how to control it so this is eight numbers over here in the report writing in section c we have to attempt all questions no choice and question five we have as i told you the unseen percentage is given and you have to find out the six errors there are six errors of verb articles adjective noun and pronoun in the given paragraph rewrite the paragraph after correcting the errors underline the corrected words now here six errors are there about the adjective noun pronoun article like this so six numbers and then uh, question 5b is use any four of the following idioms in sentence like a bird's eye view at a sea at the drop of the head four in question six read the following passage and answer the given questions in the last dear students we have three questions so we have to read this uh, whole passage and then we have to answer because the questions are from this passage so if you will read carefully once twice thrice up to you how much time you have and then you have to find out the answers and two answers one and two contains two two numbers and the last right presses of the passage and suggest suitable title so this is the uh, press is writing over here dear students inshallah we will learn how to write the presses so and give a suitable title this is about six numbers then the last question we have dear students write an essay in about 250 
to 300 words on any one of the following topics. So two topics will be given to you. There is a choice for you to do on any one. Corruption and second is the habit of reading. Might be very uh, changed topics will be given. So huge numbers are over here, 12. This is outlines are given over here and we have to follow these outlines to write the essay about it. So dear students, it was all about the uh, paper pattern of the uh, English HSSC2 uh, course, uh, definitely an uh, introduction of the uh, uh, dis dis distribution of the numbers. Now we will move to uh, re remaining portion of the uh, lecture, dear students. Now, dear students, as I told you that this is uh, section B, section C, four to numbers. Now we will move uh, for class. Uh, dear students, as you know that we have a book and this is a introduction of the book as well. Uh, total intermediate English for class uh, second year we have intermediate English for class second year. This is a title page and total dear students, we have a seven units. How many units we have total? Yes, seven units are here in our uh, book and each unit contains three readings. How many dear students? Each unit contains three readings. Okay, and this is intermediate English, and this is a uh, book is from Heber Pakhtunkhwa text board, Peshawar. So, uh, we, this is very important for all the students to keep a book, to have a book. It is very important. If you have, it's a nice, very good. If you don't have, you can collect or you can take it from the uh, bookshop. You can contact with the bookshop. Uh, owner of the Pakistan International School Taif might be limited stock is available over there. You can contact with them. So if you will, uh, uh, if you will have a book, it will be easy for me, for you all to understand the uh, lessons as well. Here, dear students, we have a uh, about book uh, that the intermediate English book for second year contents given over here, dear students. Total, uh, as I told you that we have total seven units. How many? Seven units total we have. The uh, first unit, as I told you, each unit contains three readings. One is two uh, lessons, two are the, about the lessons, and one is about poem, and plenty of grammar is given over here. I think like in unit one is about vision and mission. Here we have the farewell sermon of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Jinnah's vision of Pakistan, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. And the, the poem is The Blades of Grass, or you can say this is the poem. And parts of speech, noun phrases, noun clauses are given over here. Same, in unit two we have hope and aspiration. In unit three we have duty and responsibility. Unit four, courage and determination. Unit five, technology, gender inequality. And unit six is cultural heritage, the past and the present. And the unit seven is tales from Shakespeare. Here in this, we have about the play, The Merchant of Venice, our King Lear, you know. And dear students, I want to add over here that the plenty of grammar, as I told you, you can, uh, you can say that the pronouns are given, relative pronouns, pronouns. And then we have tenses, verbs, uh, transitive, intransitive verbs, adjective phrases, adjective clauses, and then dear student prepositions, prepositional phrases, and narration, a figure of speech. So paragraph writing is also, essay writing is also given over here. So students, uh, this is a very, very important uh, subject. As you know, English compulsory, it is for all students and it has a huge numbers, 100 number paper. And dear students, this is the only paper which is going to make your uh, brilliant uh, numbers in board or in federal board exam. Because if you, will, uh, if you will do your paper well, if you will, first of all, if you will learn well, then you can attempt your paper very well. But it is very important for every student to start English with uh, uh, attentive, attentively and uh, with the uh, good atmosphere. So uh, you are supposed to take your book from the bookshop. Uh, these are the old contents. Inshallah, this is, today's lecture was about only introduction of the book, paper pattern, distribution of the numbers, and also to tell you that what kind of questions will be there in the federal board examination. So inshallah, and in next lecture, we will start our first unit, vision and mission. And we will read the first lesson, the farewell sermon, 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which is on page number two and three. So, dear students, uh, this is all about today's lecture. Hope so. Okay, you understood today's lecture, and you are well aware about your uh, subject English. So, and you are well aware about the how many numbers are there, and uh, in section A, in section B, section C, what type of the questions will be there. And as I told you, the question section C is a maximum. The creativity is given over here. Supposed to write an essay, write a report. So this is a fantastic for you to understand inshallah you will enjoy a lot with me in your class inshallah you will learn a lot a huge knowledge uh, will be there for you so dear students this is all about today's lecture inshallah see you uh, in next lecture with the unit one vision and mission and the first uh, unit 1.1 will be the uh, the last sermon of the holy prophet so till that dear students allah face goodbye take care